Mmm, so delicious. Ah, can't wait. Look at the color. So beautiful. So this is goat meat. So I'm just gonna simply marinate it with salt and pepper. Squeeze it with some lime, juicy. <laughs> and then mix it together. Then just fry it until it lightly brown, no need to be crispy or anything, just lightly brown and cooked. Alright, so let's wait. So for the seasonings, I'm just going to use the shallots, garlics, and tomatoes, chilies, and uh, paprika, and spring onions. You can use leek or uh, anything, any flavor you like. <laughs> And this is a uh, galangal because I have it already a bit dried, so I'm just gonna grate it. And this is the ginger, so I'm gonna grate it as well. And for the shallots and garlics, I just chop them. Now, if you can see, the color is a bit lightly brown. And so, everything's done there. Paprikas, tomatoes, spring onions, and the shallots and garlics I just roughly chopped. And chilies, and this is the galangal, I just grated it, and the ginger. So, let's do the stir frying right now. So for the sliced tomatoes, i leave some for later on, just at the last moment, put it together with the paprikas and spring onions to give it beauty touch and of course uh, freshness on the food. Alright, <laughs> now I'm waiting for the meat to be done, we're making a sauce I make from a tomato ketchup and chili sauce and oyster sauce and light soy sauce. And the last touch is we're gonna squeeze some lime on it. This, because this lime is so juicy, so I just put uh, not even half. Now it looks good over there. So we're gonna pour over the sauce that I just made. Ooh. So I'm adding a little water in it. You can wash off the bowl of the mixed sauce because definitely left over in there, so you can wash it off to get used of the leftovers of the sauce and pour it over to be a gravy. And let it simmer for seven, ten minutes. No need to be too long because I already fried it anyhow. It's already cooked. Okay. Then we add a pinch of salt and pepper, not too complicated. And stir it around. <laughs> and we're gonna pour in paprika, few pieces of tomatoes and spring onion and stir it for like a minute or few seconds to keep it crunchy. Alright. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Look at the color, so beautiful. Mm, this is just drooling me right now. Mmm, <laughs> so delicious. So I just added the uh, paprika at the last moment, just stir fry it for a few seconds to let the color stay beautiful and fresh and crunchy. So you should try this at home ladies. And if you ever do, please leave your comment below to let me know about the goodness of this taste. Alright, thank you so much for watching from the beginning till the end. And see you next time.